<laughs> Could all the uh, parents, godparents, and babies, would you approach here? <laughs>
Almighty ever living God, who sent your Son into the world, to drive out from us the power of Satan and the spirit of evil, and bring the human race, rescued from darkness, into the marvelous kingdom of your life, we humbly beseech you to free these children from original sin, to make them the temple of your glory, and to grant that your Holy Spirit may dwell in them through Christ our Lord. May the strength of Christ the Savior protect you. As a sign of this, we anoint you with the oil of salvation in the, in the same Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. So we have to open a little. Yeah. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that the Lord God Almighty may bestow new life on these children. So I'm going to bless the water of baptism. O God, who by the invisible power accomplish a wondrous effect through sacramental signs, and who in many ways have prepared water your creation to show forth the grace of baptism. O God, whose spirit in the first moments of the world's creation hovered over the waters, so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power to sanctify. O God, who by the outpouring of the flood foreshadowed regeneration, so that from the mystery of one and the same element of water would come an end to vice and beginning of virtue. O God, who caused the children of Abraham to pass dry shod through the Red Sea, so that the chosen people, set free from slavery to Pharaoh, would prefigure the people of the Baptist. O God, whose Son, baptized by John in the waters of Jordan, was anointed with the Holy Spirit, and as he hung upon the cross, 
gave forth water from his side along with blood, and after his resurrection commanded his disciples to go forth, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church, and graciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water receive by the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism from all the squalor of the life of old may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children through water and the Holy Spirit. May the power May the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this font, so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death may rise again to the life of Him who lives and reigns forever. So now we're going to renew our faith. You know, the kids, the children cannot renew their faith because the babies, but we take that responsibility as parents, our parents, and all of us. We take that responsibility now in their name to renew the faith and we renounce evil. Okay? So, dear parents and God, parents through the sacrament of baptism, the children you have presented are about to receive from the love of God new life by water and the Holy Spirit. For your part, you must strive to bring them up in the faith so that this divine life may be preserved from the contagion of sin and may grow in them day by day. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, then mindful of your own baptism, renounce sin and profess faith in Christ Jesus, the faith of the church in which children are baptized. So I'm asking you parents and godparents, okay? And you, you, can, you answer, I do, right, personally. Do you, renounce, uh, do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? I'm not hearing the idea. Very weak. A little enthusiasm. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty? Creator of heaven and earth. I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. Faith in the church, we are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. So, now my final question to you, parents, my parents, is it your will, therefore, that now I gotta go to the names Aiden Joseph, Keon, Theodore, Jeshia, and Andres? Huh? Too bad, huh? should receive baptism in the faith of the church, which we have all confessed with you. Yes? All right, we'll, we'll start with Andres. So that you can bring him around, yeah? I need, I need those. Hello. Jesha, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I think we did. There we go. I think they're all going to pray today. Aiden and Joseph. Christian dignity. With your family and friends to help you by word and example, to bring it unstained into eternal life. So now, who, who brought candles? Everybody has a candle. Please your candle. Anybody? Anybody? Everybody have one? Okay. So, please come forward to uh, receive the light of Christ. 
So that your children, enlightened by Christ, may walk always as children of the light, and persevering in the faith, may run to meet the Lord when he comes, with all the saints in the heavenly court. Amen. So we have now almost finished, because what I'm going to do now, parents, got parents, folks, we're going to go back over there to the altar, so that we can pray together on our Father. Okay? So, the prayer of the Eucharist, each Mass we celebrate, we pray to our Father, our Father, who we have the children of God, Jesus Christ. But in the name of these children, we're going to say to our Father for them. Okay? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. So now there's a special blessing for mothers, for mothers, for fathers, and then for all of us. Okay? The Lord be with you. The Lord God Almighty, who is Son, born of the Virgin Mary, brings joy to Christian mothers, as the hope of eternal life shines forth upon their children. May he graciously bless the mothers of these children, so that as they now give thanks for the gift of their children, they may always remain united with them in thanksgiving in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. May the Lord God Almighty, the giver of life both in heaven and on earth, bless the fathers of these children, so that together with their wives, they may by word and example Prove to be the first witnesses of the faith of their children in Christ Jesus our Lord. May the Lord God Almighty, who by the water and the Holy Spirit has given us new birth into eternal life, abundantly bless his faithful dear brethren, that always and everywhere they may be active members of his people, and may he bestow his peace on all who are here in Christ Jesus our Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The last thing we usually do is...